Aw oh, man, I forgot to talk about the clutches and why they're burning up and melting belts. Oh, before I take the camera down, this would be video number two. I wanted to talk about overheating your clutches. I see folks with melted clutch shoes, busted belts, and I want to talk about that. And this really, really don't pertain to the 800EX guys or the 800 Trail guys. You can practically leave this machine out of that whole scenario. But it does cover all of the other CF Moto machines on the market. Everything from the four wheelers to the U Force, to the Z Force. The clutches, especially the Trail Block clutches. This machine has a wet clutch that takes the brunt of the beating. This machine takes off like a car, smooth as glass, no jerky, no herky. It don't have any of the trail block issues. Now, with that being said, trail block is one of the most top notch clutches in the world. It's actually one of my favorite clutches and has been for years. The clutch that's in this CF Moto is not a full CV Tech clutch. Half of it is. The secondary is CV Tech. The primary is, I have no idea what. Some Chinese thing that they use in a lot of quads. It's the same clutch that's in that Kawasaki, for crying out loud, pretty much. I mean, pretty much. But I want to talk to you about how you can keep from burning up your belt. With the belt slammer, I see guys especially, especially with the Z-Force 950s burning up the belts. And this is due to not selecting the correct gear for the correct terrain, which we'll get into that in a minute. It's also due to riding the clutch, is what I call it. Not giving it enough throttle to fully engage the clutch and grip the belt. Which I understand why you guys do this, but that's also why your machine is jerky. If you would just give it a little bit more throttle, a lot faster, it won't jerk, it'll shift better, and it won't slip the belt, heat up your belt, heat up your clutch, and burn everything up. Another thing is, whenever you're in the trails and you're climbing hills and, and doing all kinds of stuff under 20 miles an hour, you should be using low range gear. And don't pussyfoot it on the hills. That is what burns them up because your clutch is slipping on your belt. Whenever you're going in the hills, you need to give it more throttle. More throttle keeps the belt clenched tight on the clutch, where the clutch clenched tight on the belt. Reduces heat, reduces wear, keeps things cooler. If you're babying it up a hill at five miles an hour, this is gonna slip the clutch, and that would be why. I also recommend doing clutch kits, which you can find at Main Street Cycle. Plus, I got some stuff happening on the channel too. But for now, you can find your full clutch kit over at Main Street Cycle. Even the future clutch kits that I'm putting out will be at Main Street Cycle, so you'll be able to get those there too. And I'm gonna have kits for everybody. So, but guys, if you're too cheap to buy a clutch kit, whether you got stock tires or whether you got um, 30s or 32s, if you got 30s or 32s, clock to B2. If you got stock tires, you can still clock to B2. B2 would be a good setting. It is a good setting for the trail block clutch. That's going to help you. That's going to help the guys who like to be real slow on the clutch or on the, the gas pedal. That's going to help the guys who are slipping the belt. Once you get to know your machine, you understand that you it's not like a car. You can't use your big toe and just tap the throttle to, to kind of creep at one miles an hour. Not, not with these, not even with this, you shouldn't do that. You gotta give it gas to engage the clutch fully. 
Now, I'm not saying hammer on it and launch it every single time, but you got to give it more gas. Just give it more gas. Foot control will save on the clutch heat. Now, I was talking to a fellow today who was running in the sand dunes and having some overheating in his clutch. He's running 30 in, 30 inch paddle tires on a Z950. He's clocked a B2, he's got the 1017 spring, and he's got 18 gram weights. Paddle tires in the sand put a hefty, hefty, hefty load on the clutch. B2 is a good setting if you're in the trails with regular tires. But being in the sand with paddle tires, them paddles is constantly slinging sand. So that's weight that it's slinging. I recommend for that style of riding to go ahead and go with B3 and go with 16 gram weights. Okay guys? So I hope that helps you. I'm gonna keep this one short. Make sure to check out one of these videos here and we'll see you in the next one.